Blessings, everybody. This is such an exciting time in the Lord. Amen. I am excited and I hope that you are too. Um, if this is your first time here, my name is Patricia Lasky. Welcome. I'm so glad to have you. And if you are subscribed to this channel, thank you so much for your love and support. So today I have a prophetic word. The Lord says it is time to live again. Amen. Amen. Um, you know, the spirit of the Lord is moving upon his children and he is causing us to live. So let's look at Ezekiel 37, three through five. And he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O you dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. Now as I was sitting and meditating on this word, the Lord spoke to me and said, I'm causing my children to live again. The Spirit of the Lord is moving upon His children, and He's bringing life back into our bodies and bringing life back to the dry bones. He's removing old mindsets, old ways of seeing, and he is removing those stale and stagnant things and ushering in the new. The Lord showed me that after our time in the wilderness, we all forgot how to live. We were outside of time, so while the world was moving, we stood still. And in that process, we forgot how to live. We forgot how to have fun, how to laugh, how to rest, how to just be in the moment. And so the Lord said he is doing something new again, and he's teaching us how to live. I believe that the Lord is teaching us how to be in the moment, how to just enjoy the fullness of today, the richness and quality of life, which is his Kairos, because Kairos isn't measured in the quantity of time, but in the quality of time. And it's also a now moment, it's present. And when we are present, it allows us to be present with God. When we're present with God, it allows us to hear what what's on his heart and it enables us to follow his leading so that we know um, what to do now to get to where he wants us to be. And it also enables us to live. I believe that um, the Lord wants us to be full of joy and peace. He wants his children to laugh. You know, he's been saying that the time of mourning is over and he wants us to be free in him again. Um, this is not something that we do, right? This is something what the Lord is showing me is that he's doing it. He's moving. His spirit is moving upon us to bring us back to life again. You know, he's reviving those dead places and bringing us back to life. He wants us enjoying life again. So what's happening right now? What is the Lord doing right now? You are being quickened. The Lord is reviving you and awakening you to the love of God, the touch of God, the favor of God, the presence of God, and the move of God in your life. He's causing you to live while having a confident expectation of good for what lies ahead. He doesn't want us going out and moving um, into the things that he's called us to with fear or with doubt or with timidity. He wants us to be excited and living, just living in the moment, moving forward with God and being present. So the spirit of the Lord is moving upon us right now in this hour and he's causing us to be full of life again he says it is time to live hear me children of god it is time to live again until next time god bless you all we love you all talk to you soon